time to wake up. Wake up to what? Yeah, wake up to the problem that you've been dealing with for the past 40 or 50 years, the fact that your golf game still stinks and you're wandering around the desert. The average golf score is near dang 100. And that is pitiful considering we have all this new technology. We've got so many video cameras and mental coaches. We should be shooting 59 on 18 holes every single time with the technology we got today. But you're still stuck. You're stuck in a rut, and you've been stuck in the same rut forever. Why is that? Why? Well, here's the first problem. The reason the golf score is darn near 100 is because the golf instruction and the quality of golf instruction has been the same for the past 50 years. You've been learning the same things, you've been told the same things, and you go try the same things that don't work. So today, in this episode, I'm going to shift your thinking and get you out of 50 years worth of bad habits. How does that sound? It sounds pretty good because you're on YouTube looking for golf tips. That's why after today, you should be able to get consistency in your golf game for the first time in your life. And consistency is that new thing you're going to experience when you hit the ground in the same spot every time with your club head. You're going to hit the ball first and you're going to take a beautiful divot on the front side of the golf ball. And it's going to sound delicious. You're going to hit it so crispy and deep fried. Here's the shift we got to make. The reason you're making golf so hard, and yes, I'm saying you're making golf hard is because we're human. Humans make golf difficult. The reason you're making golf difficult for yourself is because you bought into the same old stuff that, that's been taught for the past 50 years. This whole idea uh, that we need to have all these moving pieces going on. We got this sway, so we got the shifting of our weight. Now we've got this other moving piece. We got the make sure you lift your arms. Then we got this other moving piece, three, drop it in the slot. Then we got this other moving piece, four, release the hands. And then maybe five, make sure you look like a pretty ballerina in your follow through. Oh, that's so beautiful. And number six, the part that stinks the most, watch your slice go into the woods or duck hook in the pond, chuck your bags in the creek, whatever. What is this to you? Moving parts. Okay, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to hit a little white orb, a little ball with a stick, propel it to the target, and we hit this ball in like one millisecond of time. So, when I do shift, lift, drop, rotate the hands, ballerina finish, there's six moving parts or more going on in your golf swing for that one little millisecond in time. So unless you're Irish and you're a leprechaun and you're lucky, this game's going to be very difficult you, for you for a very long time. And that's why golfers all over the world are struggling with the same bad habits. They keep repeating the same old mistakes. The mindset of swaying, lifting, dropping, doing this, rolling, has created this problem. So if you've been dealing with this, you've been doing these things repeatedly for like 40 or 50 years or even not as long, but you're just suffering, you're tired of the same old crap, change it. Just. Has it ever occurred to you like that Seinfeld episode where George Cassandra is trying to get the girl and he decides that he's going to do the opposite this time. So he, he, in the beginning he tries to get the girl, he's really interested, he's too eager and the women all run away from him. So then he decides, you know what, everything I've been doing hasn't been working and I don't have the girl. So he does the opposite. He decides he's going to do the opposite of everything that he's been doing and then guess what happens? He starts to get the girl, or the ladies for that matter, and it works. It's completely opposite of everything he thought he needed to do. That's what we're doing today. We're George costanza this whole golf swing. Okay, I guarantee you if you do the opposite of what you've been doing, you're going to hit the ball so much better. Here's the first problem. You're shifting your weight. Shifting your weight moves your body off the golf ball. If you want to have one point of contact consistently the same spot every single time, you shouldn't be shifting. The golf swing is a circle. The bottom of your circle is where that golf ball is. That's your contact point. So if you move it, if you shift, there goes your contact point. It's going to the right. Guess where you're going to hit? Behind the ball. So step number one, shore up the contact point. Here we go. Instead of shifting, anchor yourself front side of golf swing. Put weight on the front side and swing. You're going to hit the ball first almost every single time. It's going to feel so weird. You need to put like, you're, technically 55% of your weight on the front side It's going to feel like 90 or 100%. Okay, step two. 
the lifting the arms thing. This whole conundrum of trying to time this lift with the chop. You don't get any more power doing that because you're going to lift. Then you got to slow your stuff down and do this. Then you got to release your hands. Man, make it easier on yourself. Stop doing the lifting. Okay, you're going up here. Well, if I want to hit something here, just take the left arm, bring it across the chest, bring it back to the ball. All right, we're in a golf swing. Bend down forward, do the same thing. Take the club, put it behind your right shoulder for the right-handed player. Hit the ball because we're getting circular, not shiftier. So I've got the weight forward. Now bring the club across your chest, bring the hands behind your right shoulder. Boom, there goes your slice problem. Okay, problem number three, dropping the club in the slot. Just solved it, we just solved it. You know why? Because you're lifting the arms is the reason you gotta drop it in the slot in the first place. Get slotted in the first place, boop! Back in the slot, you're right there. Hands in, solves the slot problem. It's a great day. I'm telling you, once, you're, once you start doing the opposite, of all your bad habits in the past 40 years, you're gonna be a new golfer. And that's why golfers in my online golf school, Segudo.golf, that's why when they're coming into the school, they're shooting like mid 90s and the hundreds. And then while they're there and they've worked through the program, they're shooting in the low 80s. It's not rocket science. You're just learning a different program, a program that works. You're learning something that is different from the stuff you've been learning from the past 40 or 50 years, but it's the things, it's the things that the greatest scholars of all time have always been doing. Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, Jack Nicholas, Tiger, every, all these players have been doing these moves. You gotta do these moves to play good golf. Why do I get passionate about this? Because I'm tired of seeing golfers struggle. I'm tired of going to the driving range teaching people the same old things. Every lesson is about the same. That tells you that the average golfer is dealing with the same things. The average golfer shoots in the hundreds, the average golfer is getting bad information they're getting the same information and it produces this result. Input, output, bad information, hundreds. Bad information, slices. Bad information, depression. Miserable, quick the game. Bad information. Bad information. But guess what happens? We reverse the equation. Good information, fun. Good information, you're smiling. Your wife loves you, your spouse loves you more. Good information, you play more golf. Good information, you shoot low 80s, you shoot 70s, you play the best golf of your life and it doesn't take nearly as much time. Good information. You know why this is so frustrating too is people in the golf media and people have so many dang egos, they're so fed up with being right. Everybody wants to be right all the time. You can't argue with physics and geometry. They're always the laws. Oh, this swing is built on that. Instead of people trying to be right and puff themselves up, just get the problem fixed. Okay. Problem number four. After you've tried to, we've eliminated the slot, remember that. Releasing the hands. Okay, club face, start direction of the golf ball. What happens when you release the hands? Boop, you close or open the dang thing. You're really closing it through impact. Ball's gonna go left all day long. And if you're one of those people who rolls in the first part of your swing, well shoot, I can't help you there. You're opening the face, you're closing the face. Look at all that timing. Boop, boop, boop. Your windshield wiper, club face is going open, close, open, close. Oh! You wonder why you're inconsistent. It's okay, I forgive you because you don't know any better. I was just like you, I didn't know any better. I was doing the same old things. So, you keep the club face from closing, you keep the thing quiet through impact. Boop, keep the club face darn square. Ball's gonna start on your intended target line, still square through impact. You're gonna hit the green, you're gonna make birdie. You're gonna win your money match, you're gonna have more fun. All right, problem number, whew, I'm running out of problems. We're just tackling 50 years worth of bad habits and we're eliminating them right here in this episode. The ballerina finish, it's not necessary. It's too much work, it puts problem, stress on your lower back. So we're just gonna avoid the ballerina finish slice it off, do something more efficient, finish about here. The ballerina, you don't really need to do that. The ballerina finish is a sign that you use too much of your body in the swing, you use too much effort, you turn your hips too much, you, you did too much of everything. There's just too much sauce. So we need to take out some of that. So you just make a more abbreviated follow through, you keep the arms straight, keep the club face quiet, 
you're gonna finish right about there. You don't need any more than that. It's gonna be a power punch, and plus it rehinges the wrist, which is a power source for you. The past 40 and 50 years of golf instruction is utter BS and nonsense. The traditional golf swing, if you wanna do that, if you wanna do that, if you wanna continue on the same path you've been on, you can. You always have a choice. Or you can put your ego aside. I'm just gonna say, well, I don't wanna try something new. Well, you can talk to your ego and you can say, dang it, I've been doing this for so long. I've been doing this for so long, the first time I learned this swing was when the dinosaurs roamed the planet and I'm still shooting in the hundreds. It's like 7,000 billion years ago. <laughs> so, how do we end this problem? We just, I just told you that, five things. The other way you can end this problem is you go to my website, seguto.golf, play your best golf of your life for 10 bucks a month. Just get there, do it, work through the program. We surveyed 200 students in the school. They came in shooting in the mid 90s and hundreds. They're still working through the program. They're now in the low 80s, 82, 80, 78. That's an average out of 200. 10 to 15 shots, how does that sound? We'll take that all day. That's fun. If you're playing the best golf of your life, you're having fun, you're gonna play more golf, you're gonna have more fun. Life's gonna be good. Golf is life. So what do we just do here? We change the program from everything you've been doing, which is the output that leads to 100s, to the complete opposite, which is going to be the output that's gonna lead to crispy golf shots and your best golf of your life. Let's just recap once again. Here's what we're doing. You are a shifter. We're, we're getting rid of the shift. We're putting weight over the front side. We're keeping the weight over the front side throughout the entire golf swing. You're gonna hit the ball keeping the weight over the front side. Second part, you were a lifter. All right, you're a lifter. We're no longer lifting. We're gonna take the club around our body, hands behind the trail shoulder to give you power, access, angular momentum, get rid of the slice, take it in. There goes your beautiful draw every single time. While keeping that weight forward, while bringing the hands in, the third thing, you gotta drop in the slot. Well, you don't have to anymore, we're already there. Boop, back to the ball. The fourth thing, releasing the hands. That's closing the club face down really fast. We're not sure where the ball is gonna go. Let's just forget that problem. Don't roll the hands. Keep the hands quiet, keep the arms straight. Ball's gonna start on your intended target line. And then five, ballerina finish. Well, you just saw me there, finishing abbreviated like a ninja. Just do that, finish abbreviated. Don't, don't work so hard. Don't do any of this, get the stress off your body. You know what, I could throw in a bonus one right now. Stop flexing the trail leg. And if you do those things, stop flexing the trail leg in the backswing, which is your shift and sway. And you keep the weight of the front side, you're gonna get some more hip turn. Stop doing those old things, start doing these new things. You're gonna go out and play the best golf of your life and you're gonna be having so much fun, jolly good. That's what the game is all about. It's not about egos, it's not about who's right. It's not about me feeling right. It's about getting it done. You wanna know why golf is in the tank? You wanna know why golf isn't really growing? It's because of bad information. It's not because we have all this tech. It's not because people are going off and they're doing video games more than this. They play more golf if they could feel crispy quicker. You play more golf if you could feel buttery crispy KFC within the first lesson. But if you go into something and you hit like 20 duff shots and you don't know what's going on and you're trying things that are outdated and it's never worked, it's not gonna work, it relies on timing. You're gonna quit, you're not gonna play. We play sports for recreation. Recreation is fun. And you know what's not fun? is duffing like 20 shots in a row not knowing what you're doing. But doing the things in this episode give you the hope to hit crispy golf shots, to erase old, long-standing problems that you've been dealing with in your golf game, to get you on a path to success out of wandering in the desert for 40, 50 years into the land of milk and honey. So, Tom Segudo here 
to help you play the best golf of your life right now. Check out my website, segudo.golf. 10 bucks a month to play the best golf of your life. You can go to the golf school by clicking here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. And here are two lovely selections from the Segudo Golf Archives to get you playing your best golf right now. I look forward to you breaking out of the old mold and going into the land of milk and honey. Thanks for tuning in. See you in a future episode and have a rockin' week.